type of sign had turned up for work. Sorry, mate, no sign of him. Ah, I was afraid of that. Well, you never know. Maybe he's decided to go back to school after all. Mm. Don. Oh, hi, Nick. Is he here? No, no, I'm afraid not. Did you check the boat ship? Yep. So what am I going to do now? Give in or stick to my guns? Ah, just the bloke I wanted to talk to. What about? Mate, for once in your life, don't be a smart aleck. Look, Nick, I've already told you. I'm not going back to school and I'm not working at the boat shed. Well, in that case, we can talk about it when I get home. Does this mean you're not throwing me out? We'll talk about it when I get home. See, I told you. What? Well, he's not throwing me out. He was just bluffing. He didn't say that. But if you ask me, he didn't look too happy. <sighs> Join the dots, would you, Damien? The reason why he didn't look too happy was because he can't tell me what to do. All right, if you say so. <laughs> That's the trick, mate. You know, you've just got to you got to let him know who's boss. Don't let him push you around. I uh, bumped into young Shane at the surf club. He says he's going on the doll. Yeah, don't remind me. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be too chuffed about it. Yeah, I told him he either went back to school, he started work with Michael, or he's out on his ear. And you're uh, having second thoughts about that? Nah, to tell you the truth, I didn't think he'd call my bluff. I was wrong. Have you ever owned a dog? Mm, a dog? What's that got uh, to do with it? Mate, that? I don't mean one of them scrawny little things, you know, that you sit on your lap to keep your legs warm. I mean a fair dinkum dog. You know, like a blue healer or, uh, 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 you know, a bull terrier or an Alsatian. No, I haven't. Oh, well, I've had a few in my time. Always the same story, you know. They're fine until they're about 12 months old. They do as they're told, you know. They're on the couch. You tell them to get off. They do as they're told. Then it all changes when they get to about 18 months old. Their chest starts to broaden a bit. They get a bit more confident, start feeling their oats, get a bit aggressive. Yeah, mate, this is a nice biology lesson, but what's mate, it mate, got to do anything? Let me finish. Then one day the dog's on the couch. You tell him to get off, and he just bears his teeth at you. You know, it's, it's sort of a challenge. And if you don't knock that dog off the couch there and then, you've lost him forever, mate. He won't respect you again. I reckon it's pretty much the same for teenage boys. Oh, good day, Don. Which might have been Shane. Hi, Nick. No, uh, just about to have a coffee. Would you like one? No, thanks. Have you seen him? What, Shane? Uh, uh, what, he was hanging around the school at lunchtime waiting for Damien. I saw him at the diner. Oh, I suppose it's too much hope you got through to him. I didn't say that much. It wasn't really the right place. No, no, of course not. Look, um, Nick, I've been thinking. Um, maybe the way to go with Shane is... Um... No, Don, it's fine. I know what I'm going to do. Where are you going? Don't you want to go before? Uh, yeah, no, I've got to get home. Get some money first. Uh, you can't? No, no, I think I'll wait here. Why? What's wrong? I don't want to be there if you're hassling with Nick. What hassle? Nick knows that he can't tell me what to do. End of story. Well, I think I'll wait here anyway. Go suit yourself. Hey, Nick, what do you think you're doing? You can't be serious. I warned you, Shane. Now you're out. I warned you that you wouldn't listen. And why should I? I don't have to do what you tell me. I am old enough to make my own decisions. Becoming a doll bludger is not making a decision. It's a cop-out. Oh, that'd be right. I mean, you're so worried about my future, you're kicking me out on the street. You brought it upon yourself. Why? Because I won't be what you want me to be? Now who's copping out? We can stand here arguing about it all day, but it is not going to make any difference. So what am I supposed to do, huh? Where am I going to live? Well, it's not my concern now. Some brother you are. And you, I bet you put him up to this, didn't you? You've been trying to get rid of me ever since I first got here. No, Shane, this I had nothing you. to do with Don. It is totally my decision. Yeah, sure. We can settle this right now if you want. All you have to do is say you're going to go back to school or you're going to go and work for Michael at the boat shed. If you agree to that, I will continue to pay your rent and board. I'll even bring your stuff in from outside. No way. As far as I'm concerned, you can both go and get stuffed. Gone. It must have been very difficult for you. Well, it had to be done. Sorry, you got dragged into it. No, 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 it's all right. 
It's understandable he should think I'm the villain of the piece. It's, uh, it's not as if we've ever really got on, is it? So what do you intend to do now? Well, it's up to Shane. The ball's in his court. Yes. Well, with, with any luck, it uh, might bring him to his senses. Don't just stand there. Come on, give us a hand. What are you doing? I'm taking my gear for a walk. What do you think? You mean Nick kicked you out? You're kidding. Yeah, the mongrel. So what are you going to do? Well, I'm not going back to Nick, that's for sure. Shane, if you've got nowhere else to live, you may as well go back. Oh, what? What, do you reckon I should crawl back to Nick say, I'm sorry, please, I won't do it again? Yeah, sure. Take down the man. It's not my fault. I mean, you're the one who reckons he was bluffing in the first place. Yeah, well, I was wrong, wasn't I? Now, can you believe it? I mean, he's meant to be my brother. Well, that should keep you going for a few days. Yeah, OK. Yeah, I reckon it should be all right here for a few days. What's going on here? G'day, Mr. Stewart. I'm uh, just storing my stuff here for a couple of days. Oh, yes, that's it. Why? What's the problem? Well, uh, this is a surf club, in case you haven't noticed. Not a flaming warehouse. Yeah, but it'll only be for a few days. Sorry. I oh, Come on, give us a break. I've got nowhere else to put it. Not my problem, mate. If it's still here when I get back, it'll be out in the footpath. <sighs> Shane's stuff, he's going to be staying here for a while. What's wrong with your place? I, um, I moved out. Oh, really? And have you cleared it with Michael? No, I'll talk to him when he gets home from work. What do you order your stuff for? Oh, I'm going over to Blake's. His sister's coming home today. The one that's been in jail? Yeah, she, um, she killed someone, didn't she? Yeah, Sophie's boyfriend. It was an accident. <gasps> yeah, that's not what I heard. Well, who cares what you heard? OK, I'll see you later. Yeah, see you. You know, your sister can be a real pain sometimes. Ah, uh, she's okay. Come on, let's get this stuff up into my room. You still reckon Mike will be okay about me staying? Yeah, of course he will. He didn't mind last time, did he? No. Uh. So you reckon Shane will turn up at my place? Yeah, I reckon it's odds on because he and Damien are best of mates. And what if he does? Well, he's going to ask if he can stay there. And I want you to knock him back. Well, sure, if that's what you want. But if he's got nowhere to live, well, what happens to him then? Have you thought about that? Well, that's the whole point. I want him to come to his senses, and I reckon the only way we can do that is to wear him down. And you reckon a few nights sleeping rough will do the trick? Yeah, with any luck. Um, listen, I think it might be better if you wait here while I go inside and talk to him. Why? Well, I just think it'd be better if I ask him myself. <laughs> What's the difference? Anyway, I'm more persuasive than you. Yeah, I know, but I know, Michael. I know the right things to say. Yeah, OK, but just make sure you don't stuff up, all right? It's too late to find anywhere else to stay now. No way. Well, why not? Because I said so, that's why not. But Michael, he's got nowhere else to live. He can go home any time he likes. But you see, that's the thing, he can't. He can if he abides by the rules. Now, I've talked to Nick about this, I know all about it. Uh, yeah, but why can't he just stay... No buts, Damien. No way. Well, can't he even stay for one night? Uh-uh. Not even to dinner. You can't be serious. Yeah, sorry. But you said it'd be OK. Yeah, well, I thought it would be OK. I mean, it wasn't a problem last time you stayed. So what's the problem this time? Uh, Michael knows why you've been thrown out. He said he's already spoken to Nick about it. No, you mean Nick's already spoken to Michael. Just like he did to Alf. That's why Alf wouldn't let me stash the gear at the surf club. Hang on, how do you know that? Well, think about it, right? Alf didn't ask me why I had the gear, did he? No. That's because Nick had already told him. You know, I never thought of that. You know what he's doing, don't you? He figures that if he makes sure that I've got nowhere to stay, then I'll crawl back home and say I'm sorry. Uh, so what are you going to do? I don't know, find somewhere else to sleep, I guess. Like where? I don't know. I don't care. Anywhere. But there's no way that I'm going back home. Shane. Hi, oh, good day, Lee. I called that friend in Social Security, asked him about emergency payments. And? Well, he doesn't think he can do much, but give him a call anyway. Might be able to help out with a few things like accommodation, you know, places you can hang out during the day. Generally, you make life a bit more bearable. Sure, great, thanks a lot. No worries. Shane, where are you going? What's it to you? Come on, don't be stupid. It's coming down by the bucket for us. So? Well, you can't sleep out in the open tonight. I'm not going to. I've organised a place. Where? A refuge, if you must know. Damien told me they couldn't fit you in till tomorrow night. So what are you going to do? Okay. How? Just lay off. Come on, I'm trying to help. I said lay off. Where are you going to stay? Anywhere. I damn well what. Shame.
getting worse. What? The rain. So? Well, so Shane's stuck out on the beach with a sleeping bag. Only because he deserves it. Finn, you mightn't care about him, but he's still my friend, all right? And it wouldn't hurt Michael just to let him stay for one night. Why should he? Face it, Damien, Shane's a loser. He's just not worth worrying about. Just make sure Michael never hears about it, all right? That's OK, I won't tell him. And whatever you do, don't tell anyone else either. Oh, don't worry, I'm not stupid. Well, if they find out, I'm going to be in very big trouble, yeah. Shane. Look, he won't find out, all right? And what's it, don't turn that on. Someone might see it. I'm sorry. Listen, whatever you do, do not sleep in. You've got to be out of here by 7.30, because that's what time Michael and Greg turn up. Yeah, all right, I will. And make sure you leave everything the way you found it. And I mean exactly. Right. Just stop worrying, all right? I think we'll have to take off before they miss me back home. Yeah, sure. Oh, well, I'm going to take the key with me. All you've got to do when you wake up is just shut the door and leave. Yeah, all right, is that it? Yeah, I think so. Listen, take care, all right? Yeah. Hey, listen, mate. Thanks, I really appreciate this. Yeah, well... No, I mean it. I was so wet and miserable out there, I was thinking of giving in and going back to fishers. Giving in? Yeah. Lucky thing you came along when you did, eh? You been? Um, nowhere. Nowhere, eh? What'd you just put in the drawer? Nothing. Let's have a look. No prizes for guessing why you needed these. Sorry. That's all you got to say for yourself, is it? Well, I just couldn't sit here and do nothing and have my best friend end up in hospital with double pneumonia. And I have told you over and over there's a perfectly warm, dry bed waiting for him at home. Yeah, I know. I, I just thought I was doing the right thing. Yeah, well, you weren't. Well, guess what he said to me? Go on. Well, he reckons he was so wet, tired and miserable that he was just about to give in and go home. And then I turned up with the key. You mean to tell me if you hadn't stuck your big beak in, we wouldn't have a problem now? Well, that's about it. Damien. Yeah, I know. So what are you going to do? Are you going to chuck me out the rain as well? Don't tempt me. I might teach you a lesson. Are you going to do as you're told from now on? Yeah, if I can. I'll take that as a yes. First order. Bed. It's getting late. Are well, you letting me off? Don't push your luck. Just hit the sack. Thanks. Hey, listen. What? <laughs> well, the rain had stopped. Hey, listen, um, I was down in the diner before and Finn started carrying on about it. Um, what about? Well, I don't know. She, she said something about the, um, the key to the boat shed. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Michael just caught me putting the key back in the drawer, that's all. I thought you said everything was cool. Everything is cool. I mean, I handled it. How? I just did. All right, so didn't Michael go off the day? Shane, just drop it, OK? I said everything was all right. G'day. Oh, g'day, Michael. I hear you got some free accommodation last night. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. I did, thanks. Because it isn't going to happen again. Damien knows he made a mistake giving you that key. Hey, Mike. So from now on, you find somewhere else to stay. It's all right, I already have. I've got a place lined up and some money in my pocket, so I don't need any of you. Fine by me. Fine by me, too. Uh, so you made a mistake by giving me the key, huh? Well, if I didn't give you the key, you'd be back home by now. Why and you reckon I should be? Well, it's not for me to decide. That's right, Damien. You're my mate, not my conscience, all right? Well, this is it. New home. That looks pretty good. 
You know, I've had to put up with a lot of flack over the last couple of weeks from Nick and Fisher, but now I've made it. Now I've finally made it. What do you want? Oh, uh, good day. I'm, I'm Shane Harris. I'm staying here. You want a bet? Well, uh, I rang up yesterday and the guy on the phone said that um, there'd be a place for me. Yeah, well, a couple of the guys have decided to stay on, so we're full. But he promised me. Hey, that's the way it goes, man. You want to come in and ask with your life, but you're wasting your time. So what am I supposed to do? Find somewhere else. But there is nowhere else, mate. Tough. Wake up, son. Come on up, you get. What's this? You realise what you're doing is illegal? Yeah, I had nowhere else to go. <laughs> What's your name? Shane. Last name? Parrish. Nick's brother? Yeah. Got any ID? SCS card. Let's get you home, eh? Oh, no, it's cool. Um, I'll find somewhere else. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. This is his way of getting me home, isn't it? Who? Nick. No, uh, we just like to make sure you spend the night somewhere safe. Nick. Mitch. What's going on? I wonder. Found him down the beach settling in for the night. I thought you said you were staying at the refuge. I'll leave you to talk things over. Thanks, mate. I'll see you later. Good one. You couldn't talk me into going home, so you got your mates to do it for you. I had nothing to do with it. Do you really think I'm that stupid? You told me you were staying at the refuge. So when you found out that I wasn't, you sent the goon squad looking for me. I can assure you he did nothing of the sort. Oh, here we go. Two against one. Nothing's Cut changed. it out, Shane. There are regular patrols along that stretch all the time. It wasn't part of some plan to drag you back here. Yeah, sure. I'll give you some credit for once in your life. I wouldn't bother with common sense if I were you. It's obviously not getting through. We can talk about this in the morning. Once we've all calmed down. Maybe we can work something out. There is nothing to work out. Now, I'm not hanging around. After the way you've behaved tonight, you're damn lucky to have a bed. I want you out of this house by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Is that understood? Suits me. Good. I'll see you in the morning, Nick, after 8. Can I get you anything else? Oh, no, thanks. Had a bit of a loose end, eh? No, what makes you say that? Oh, nothing specific. Yeah, well, I'm just waiting in case Damien fronts. I, um, I told him that I'd drop by if nothing was happening at the refuge. Have you uh, seen him? No, no, not tonight. So how's everything going at the refuge? It's OK. Not as good as being at home, though, I bet. Bed's a bed. Oh, don't know about that. I still can't figure out why I, I was knocked back. Well, maybe your dad's got a secret stash he hasn't told you about. <laughs> I uh, wish. Uh, g'day, Shane. Oh, good day. Hey, what's with all the groovy gear? Oh, we've just been to a disco. All oh, right, thanks for inviting me. Oh, don't worry about it. You didn't miss anything. You can say that again. That place was a real hole. Yeah, well, it couldn't be much worse than the refuge. Well, I thought you said it was OK. Oh, it is. Mate, the food's beautiful. Company's even better. Should try moving in sometime. Um, do you want something to eat? No, that's no, all right. It is my shout. Oh, well, when you put it like that, yeah. I'll be sure. closing pretty soon, so if you want to order, you better make it snappy. Sure. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, I've got to go. They bolt the door if you get back late. Are that tough? Yeah, catch you later. Bye. Poor Shane. Yeah, I hope he makes it back there in time. You know, I don't think he likes that place as much as he says he does. Yeah, well, Shane's never going to admit that to himself, let alone us, is he? Hey, what are you doing up so early? I thought we might go and check out a few waves. No, I can't. I've got to take these down to the diner. I hang on. Uh, didn't Pippa do all the cooking before? Yeah, but Finn's having a go. The kitchen looks like a bomb's gone off in it. Oh, yeah? Hey, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Oh, at least I can do a sample one before you go let them loose on the public, eh? Hey? Well, what's the matter? Don't they feed you at the refuge? Oh, yeah, they do, but you've got to be pretty desperate at the slop they call food. So what do you reckon? Come for a surf? No, I can't. I've got to take these down to the diner, remember? Muffins? Uh, eat later. No, nope, sorry, I've got an assignment to do. So do it tomorrow. Shane, would you quit hassling? I said I was going to do it today. Yeah, g'day, guys. Um, Finn, huh? Yep, chain of the kitchen sink. <laughs> Where she belongs. 
Hey, did you make your curfew last night? No, just <laughs> jerks. You know, they must think we're children or something. I don't know. You don't like it there much, do you? Tell you the truth, no, I don't. You know, the place stinks. Everyone's a loser. And as for that youth worker, he should have been a priest. Well, go home, then. I can't. You know, Nick's got to learn that he can't treat me like a child anymore. Hey, you really think it's worth going through all this just to teach him a lesson? Yeah, yeah, I do. You know, I want to see him beg. I want to see him down on his hands and knees begging. If Shane hates that place so much, why doesn't he just go home? Because he's a stubborn idiot, that's <laughs> why. That's one way of putting it. Now, so how should we tackle this one? Mm, yeah, right. Um, what are the main characteristics of Shakespearean tragedy? Ah, g'day, mate. We're just talking about you. Surprise, surprise. Has anyone told you you've got to mount the sides of the Grand Canyon? Um, what have I done? Well, if I wanted Nick to know that I thought the refuge sucks, I would have told him myself. I can speak English, you know. Shane, would you calm down? Damien, you're a weak, spineless little crawler. You make me sick. That was a bit much, wasn't it? Well, Shane's like that. Yeah, if that's how he treats his best friend, I'd hate to think how he treats his enemies. Hey, Peter. What do you want? Well, I've just had a read of your probation report. And? Well, it's pretty impressive, mate. You've been doing all right for yourself. Yeah, well, I hope everyone around here sees it that way. I bet you they don't, though. Well, if you cop any flack from anyone, you tell me, OK? Yeah, OK, thanks a lot. Does that offer still stand if anyone happens to be your brother? Anyone, mate. That scumbucket's gonna need plastic surgery when I'm finished with him. Don't move. You'll end up in a lot of trouble. OK, well, I'll, I'll just get him when no-one's around, so it'll be his word against mine. Mate, you're entitled to feel angry with Peter, but fighting him isn't the way to deal with it. Why not? I mean, he set me up. I should be allowed to get even. Well, he's already been punished. Yeah, right. Why didn't he get two years like I did? Because he doesn't have prior convictions like you have. <sighs> but 40 hours, community service. I mean, you said yourself he got off too easy. Yeah, I know. And if I were you, I'd probably feel like belting him as well. But then I'd have enough common sense to realise it's a pretty stupid mistake. Unless you wanted to go back to that detention centre. So what you want? Mate, what's done is done. So do us all a favour and forget about Peter. And you're still asking a lot? Yeah, I might be, but don't be a moron. Think about what's at stake here. For your sake, not mine. Heard you were back. Guess you heard right. What do you think you're doing here? Nothing. Who said you could play pool with this mongrel? Shane, I don't need your permission. I can do what I want, all right? You know, carry on like that, Shaney Poo, and you're going to lose a lot of friends, Shut up, mate. Shut breath, you're going to wish you were never born, mate. Oh, don't call me names, man. Settle down, Shane. Keep out of it, Blake. This is none of your business. Listen, mate, you put the foot out of line, you're on a very fast road to being out of here for good. Have you got it? Have you got it? Take those of us. One of these days when you least expect it, you're going to cop it, mate. Hey, Tarish! Boss wants ya. What for? Dunno. Could be bad news. He's been on the phone. Something about a couple of guys needing somewhere to live. So what's that got to do with me? He said there was one kid here that shouldn't be. And what makes you think he was talking about me? Your brother's a local cop, isn't he? Yeah, so? So, word is that you could go live with him. You reckon? Look, if Nick thinks that I'm going to go back home, he can forget it. Even if I do get the heat from me.